So I was just walking down the street, minding my own business, picking up some toilet paper, some tea papes. And then all of a sudden, I got Marcus from Marcus Creation rolls up on me like, yo man, I challenge you. What? Challenge me? Let me see your Kung Fu. He said, no, 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 no. This is a character design challenge. What? A character design challenge, I say? All right, all right. So this is what we're gonna do. We've each chosen one word randomly. So um, either the first or the second word, we put them together, mash them together. And then now we have the, uh, the uh, prompt for a character design. And we're all each gonna do our own version in the, uh, in the interest of uh, imp bettering ourselves. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be the first character design challenge and the subject is Battle Mage. So we've got four character design challenges lined up. The first one is this Mad Battle Mage. And in each one, I'm gonna, we're gonna put out one each weekend and we're gonna do the same character. So check out Marcus Creations uh, channel to see his Battle Mage and character design and uh, see the difference between our methodologies and our outcomes. I haven't seen what he's going to do and he hasn't seen what I'm going to do until we finish it out there. Um, and the other ones we've got coming up, we've already made the list. Uh, Lightning Grandma is one that I'm looking forward to. But what I'm going to try to do is not have preconceived notions coming in, so I haven't really thought about this at all. And I'm just kind of going to go through the, uh, the uh, design um, process with you myself. And so for this first one, I'm just kind of going to do it like off the cuff how I might do it. Now, and then in later ones, I'm going to try to add more uh, things that I've learned or more uh, maybe go through different procedures to coming up with the characters. And uh, I'll just talk you through what, I, what I'm coming up with. So, um, so the first thing I should probably do is get reference, but whatever. I know what a battle mage is. I know what angry people look like. I know this is obviously not like the most professional way to go about things, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and start like doodling stuff. And I'm going to use triangular shapes because, um, so there are three basic shapes, and I talk about this in another video. Muffin, muffin, quiet. Uh, my parakeet muffin loves to talk in the background. So um, triangle shapes are going to give you a uh, more dangerous feel. Uh, and um, I think that goes well with the madness. I don't know if it's going to be if he's mad like angry or insane. I think I'm going to try to go for both. So uh, I'm going to try to work with a lot of triangles. Circle usually makes people seem more, um, what's it called? Uh, more uh, like trusting, like uh, like babies and cute stuff have big circle shapes. So, you know, they're soft and approachable. There's no sharp edges. And squares are more sturdy. So I'm going to try to keep more triangles and let's just like mess around and come up with a couple random things and then go from there, choose one and go from there. Um, and I'm probably going to keep the pose pretty, pretty uh, basic, I think, because I want to, what's it called? Because, I don't know, I haven't studied posing too much. There are some great videos on it out there, so I'm going to have to add that as an aspect to a later character design challenge and really try to push my poses and all that stuff but for now I'm just going to work with uh, some I don't know what I basically got going so far. I'm gonna keep it kinda cartoony make it easier on myself. I don't wanna worry about like uh, bad anatomy and stuff too much um, So let's see. So a battle mage, what is he going to have? He's got to have some kind of power. Some uh, So it could be fire, but that might be a little stereotypical. What if it's like one of these weird, like, what it is, like an atomic, just pure energy? Um, maybe he's holding it above his head and laughing. <laughs> maybe the nose is triangular instead of the rest of the body. What if he's uh, very thin and more frail? This guy's oh, he's a battle mage, so he could be pretty buff. See, that's the other thing. Battle mage, I would imagine, has like a sword or some kind of weapon. Um, so let's give this guy an axe. Okay. 
let's just do a couple more and then I'll kind of dial down on one and refine it. Sure. So what am I thinking so far out of these? Do I like any of these? Do I just keep doodling. Maybe uh, giving him like a face. So like what about like a mad smile? Or, like some... Well, what if he has got like a broken tooth? Because you know he's been in battle. And uh... I actually know from personal experience that teeth can get knocked out pretty easily. I had my, I used this like sparring with my friend um, because I wanted to, uh, I was thinking about doing like MMA for a minute and uh, I was getting pretty serious about it. So, uh, yeah, I should have worn a mouth guard. It got like loosened, but it didn't like come out until months later. It was like cracked apparently, my tooth, and then I had to get it taken out and a uh, fake one put in with like a titanium screw. So here's like a. See, this guy doesn't look like very badly. Like, let's see, okay, what if we make his neck thicker? Alright, that's kind of cool, and give him like a scar, this typical eye scar. How can we do something different? Alright, let's give him a couple scars on his head. Maybe an earring. What if he's like a pirate battle mage? I think like we can I think we can switch it up like that if we want. Cool. So what can I do to make more battle mage? -y? Let's see. Maybe I should like live stream this so I can get ideas from you guys. That'd be fun. Or is that cheating? I don't know. Let me know what you think. Mm. So can I combine this with either of these? What if I used? So why? What makes a mage like? What if he has a beard? Beards tend to denote wisdom. So let's give him something like that. So he doesn't look like a total. Uh, Numbskull. <laughs> no one says numbskull anymore. I think it's an underrated insult. Okay. So what about this beard? I don't know, it's not really fitting for some reason. Because it needs to go all the way around? Uh, I don't think so. I think we can make it fit. Let's make it work. Let's just try it. Let's get crazy here. So he's really buff, he's got this beard, let's stick with that, and a broken tooth, and um, his elemental power, um, anyway, let's shrink this guy down, so you can work on him more. Cool. Uh, he's probably going to need to be even smaller. It's okay, it's okay, I can shrink him down later when I need to. Alright. Maybe he's got uh, I feel like this guy would have like a big old weapon. So it this could be like See that's okay, no, he wouldn't be holding it like that. You gotta have your elbows tucked in more if you wanna have leverage with your weapon. Put more of your body weight behind your blows. You don't wanna get your elbows and also leaving your elbows up. It's going to, uh, you know, this whole side is going to be left exposed. So he should know this since he's a experienced battle mage. He's got some light armor, let's say. This is where the reference comes in. If I had some good reference for armor and stuff like that. I'm trying to imagine myself holding something. Okay. Looks like he's wearing overalls. That's not the, the feel I'm going for. Maybe you should have a robe. What makes him more battle uh magey or something more flowy? Hmm. He's holding a weapon like this. Seems like if it was a two handed weapon, you would have it more far apart. Or it's a smaller two handed weapon. Um, it always bothers me, like, 
people should be holding the weapon in a way that like this would be the obvious thing if I'm going to put an axe handle on it but is that how it would be held if uh, if you're really holding it because the direction of the blade has to do with the grip on your handle unless you're not holding it like intentionally for battle and also what about his uh, his mage powers See, I'm kind of like leaving that out so I don't think this is the best this is the best pose for him maybe I'll take this hand and he'll be kind of like holding it like that And in this hand, he's got his, like, power. So we decided to do this, uh, this, like, neutron power, and then we could, we get this all glowy. In this case, uh, he's not, like, holding it in preparation for battle, so we can just have it sideways to make our lives easier. And also, it looks better. Let's make it, let's not make it symmetrical. That's kind of cool. Maybe a shape like this. And so one thing with character design is you really want to, like, not take the first idea you have, apparently, and, like, keep trying, like, keep, uh, what's it called? Doing different iterations of it until you kind of work it to what you want. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to have fun with it, come up with a character, see what happens. So he's kind of confident, so he's going to have a wide stance. And I guess this also has a triangular shape. So I kind of lost, see, he's got a square shape, but his nose is triangle, kind of triangle on the mouth, and there's this kind of triangle here. So he's still got a triangular shape, but the squareness of it also comes through, so he seems, like, sturdy and reliable. Like, pretty strong, I guess, is what you could, another way of putting that. Like, he won't, uh, he won't be pushed over easily. And his uh, wide stance is also conveying that. So what if he's not wearing armor? Because that impedes his spell casting abilities. He's a 3.5 uh, Dungeons and Dragons, 3. Point, version 3.5 Battle Mage. So uh, you don't want to have a have to roll a percentage die every time you cast a spell to see if it fails. That's a pain in the butt. So, you know what? He just has high dexterity. And uh, he likes to use this awesome two-handed weapon and use magic to also kick butt. These are the things that Quagmar. No, that's like Quagmire. For <laughs> Quagmar? No. Uh, all right, yeah, let's go with that, but let's do Quagmar, dash Mar. Quagmar, the battle mage, the mad battle mage. That's freaking awesome. My wife's looking at me like I'm crazy. All right, honey. <laughs> All right. So... Is that cool? Is it? It doesn't look right. The feet don't look right. I think they're a little too pointing too far out like that. This is a way I like to draw feet sometimes. Just put in a big thing for the front. Kind of got it inspired. It's inspired by Kingdom Hearts, I guess. They have these big old shoes. I really like that look. Um, Kingdom Hearts. That's actually, I, I do these uh, how to draw like videos, so definitely going to do a how to draw like Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> or whoever the artist is who does it, but, no, actually, I just, even like all the 3D rendering and stuff, and all the characters there, um, so, next one I'm going to do is a Kira Toriyama, but I'm thinking Kingdom Hearts is going to come after that, so he's got some kind of gloves, let's say, gloves are pretty important, especially gauntlets, because when you sword fight, the main thing that gets hit is your fingers. That's another thing I know from personal experience. And if you sword fight with stuff that's like uh, these, <laughs> these uh, what are they called? Cold steel? No, cold cold steel. I don't know. They're like a brand of like practice swords. So I have these plastic. They're like plastic, and so they're not padded. I started off. Me and my friend used to battle a lot. 
um, Sparlock. Okay, cool, I like this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and just like start inking it from here, and I'll probably go into flash forward mode, or flash mode, where I basically just increase my speed multiple fold. I'm freaking awesome like that. And uh, save you guys some time so you can, uh, you can still see the inking process, but you don't have to sit through every little detail. But oh yeah, I was saying the gauntlets and stuff, especially on the hand you use to hold the sword, is legit because, uh, yeah, swords hit your fingers a lot. And they would cut your fingers off, but even if they don't, it still hurts, especially if it's cold out. So, anyways, flash mode activate. Excellent, so I finished up Quagmar the Battle Mage, but I've made some changes since this line work, a few minor adjustments. Um, so I'll show you, this is what I had at the end of the time lapse you just watched. And then here is the final inking I did. The main things I changed are the hands, I used a little bit of my own hand for reference to get that looking better, because this was not not happening and also i added this um chain mail gauntlet to protect his fingers for when he's battling on it the forward hand and one thing i realized which i'm pretty annoyed about actually is that like i was saying how i don't like it it's a pet peeve of mine when the act when the weapons are held the wrong way i was gonna have this resting on the ground so it's kind of just like he's holding like he's supporting it he's not like wielding it to to be ready for battle but um the silhouette looked better without this little without it connecting down there so that's what i ended up going with and then so basically this should be turned 90 degrees where this uh the blade just uh kind of perpen is lined up with the knuckles so whatever it's art sometimes design uh trumps realism so I guess this is one of those cases, but I'm going to try to be better about this in the future. So let me go ahead and turn on all the color layers one by one. Or actually, I think the color layers all come in in one big, uh, big shebang. So shebang! There he is, Quagmar the Battle Mage. Let's take a closer look at this guy. All right, wearing his orange vest maybe a little tribute to goku he's got some mad energy powers coming in augmenting his blades power with his arcane might and um that's pretty much it so make sure to go check out marcus creations um version of the mad battle mage and i'm about to go do that myself right now and if you like these kind of videos let me know with a comment or click in the like button we're going to try to make uh, four more for this series, and if you guys like it, then maybe we'll continue. So, yep, that's it. Peace, God bless, and stay fantastic, everyone. Only the wise subscribe.